Hello guys, welcome back to the downfall. This video continues from the last part of the whole recording. So hope you guys also enjoy this part too. Let's get to it. It's a cat lady! They call me all sorts of names. If I play the piano after dark for two minutes. But no one does anything when there's real bloody noise in the middle of the night. <sighs> no, 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 it can't it be. It seems to be coming from Joe's flat. No. No. The door's wide open. Hello? No. Oh, hey! End of the road, bitch. Just ask the cat. I know this universe shares the same universe with the cat lady but this place is the basement where uh, where the cat lady dress herself as the whatever the thing I don't know so uh, I was right something was trying to pop out from the mirror But still, I don't get it. Ivy? Are you there? Am I the devil one? Whoa, it's so bright. Ivy! I see something right in front of it. It makes me feel like I'm being watched. Is it my hole? Ivy! I'm pretty sure she's sleeping, right? She she can't be dead. And what what's the relationship with the cat lady? Dead. Oh really All she's dead. For nothing? Except I will never give up on you. Never. There's still a way to bring you back. Electric chair, right? Come. Yeah, what's the what's the cat lady's doing? What is going on in here? What? Why the cat lady? What? What? Why is the cat lady? I don't understand. Uh, 
I'm so confused now. Still, can I get the notes? <laughs> because notes, notes is quite uh, so really makes me feel peace. Oh, what the hell is it? I don't understand. I'll tie it to the chair. Yeah, sure. It should easily hold my weight. What? Where do you think you're going? Oh, sorry, sir. Um, she got there, son. Um, another dead body to add to the list. What? Dad. You know, your mother always loved Robbie more. He was such a happy kid. Always smiling. And you. You let him fucking die. I... It was an accident, and you know it. You were supposed to watch him. Was it so hard to take care of your younger brother for five fucking minutes? He didn't want to listen. Well, it doesn't even matter anymore. My life ended the moment. Your mother. You remember. You were there too. You didn't even cry. Goodbye, Dad. I'll finish my cigarette and I'll go. There's nothing left for me here. You're a grown man. This home is yours now. Enjoy. Okay, that... That leads to nowhere. But I... Wow, this this one is more complicating than more complicating than the cat lady. At least the cat lady was like fine, I think. But this one is far beyond my understood. Ah, I see you have taken matters into your own hands, young man. Uh, yes, I thought you dead. I thought you were dead. I do appreciate a good initiative, but I'm afraid it's not going to work. Excuse me? I thought you were dead. No! No! Death is but a state of mind, and my mind has always been a wandering one. What do you want? I felt inclined to inform you that what you are trying to achieve here is, well, pointless. Why? It worked before. I brought Agnes back. This whole idea was flawed from the start. There simply isn't enough power here to alter the subject's state of mind. No one has that kind of power. Well, except the subject herself, perhaps. But as you see, sadly, she is not willing to cooperate. Nothing is impossible. You are a stubborn one. So fine, go and see for yourself. Do it. Just do it. Sure. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> this really old meme, but you made that ass. <laughs> <laughs> you made that as achievement. God damn you. But wow, what are the what are those mannequins? I, I All right, we ran out of power. I should have sat on there. 
Someone's screaming. Great. This can only mean one thing. Uh, Joe's lost the plot. I always knew there was something wrong with him. Just stay calm, Susan. You can deal with this. Who was Susan? One step at a time. I've been there before. What's it always starts with a weapon. What? Uh, we I can sit on there, but uh, I can pick it up once. And, uh, <laughs> I. What the hell am I looking at? They're mannequins. I'm not sure why I'm why I'm taking these. <laughs> it's only only for the crafting the stuff. We got the cat skull, we got the broomstick No, we need more What am I looking at? Oh, a bunch of mannequins Sorry, I, I wasn't focused on Can I look closer again? Oh, I can do that for some goddamn reason Alright, that's funny Okay, yeah, staring at the mannequin is really entertaining Entertaining myself Good, I like that I'm not sure why I actually done that Okay, uh, where this thing is? Oh, mannequin, mannequin arm. I'll, I'll take it. I don't know why I want to take it, but I decided to take all of them. But goddamn, there's so a lot of mannequins here. What's going on here? Oh, pipe. I'll take. I guess. Oh, wait. I'll take the rack instead. All right, that's useful, I think. For I don't even know where I am. I can sit. A terrible idea. Still, I, I don't want to pick it up. Why do I? Why do I want to craft a weapon though? There's tons of bottles here. It looks familiar. I'm not gonna lie. There's a manhole. I can exit for some for some reason. Well, I guess I can't go back. Oh. Okay, never mind then. I what? Oh, I didn't I didn't expect yeah. how that works. All right, it works. Good. All right, I got a small key, but why do I need that for? Oh, the first floor. Ah. Yes. What's, wow. This this game leaves me ton Oh shit. All right, then where do I use it for? This game leave, left uh, leaves me very tons of question marks. light bulbs but okay you do not want to use that all right uh not sure about the definition of the perfect weapon i can climb up there was there another locked door there i don't remember it's locked maybe we can use it What's inside? Uh, there's nothing but clothes here and the duct tape. Yeah. All right, duct tape, good. But still, I don't get any connection between the downfall and the cat lady. It's so. Wow, we can go. Oh, we can take the glass. 
Still not sure why we need glass though. Got it. Well, anyway, Joe took the fire axe though. So this is the only thing that we can use. Still really confusing for me. Right, we got the glass, we got the duct tape. Not sure what kind of weapon you want to craft. So, we got, uh, yeah, okay. So how about this? I think we are ready. Hmm. Let's stick this glass shard onto the mannequin arm and see what happens. That's okay. But it's not going to hold as it is. I should secure the whole thing now so it doesn't fall apart as soon as I pick it up. We have duct tape. This is it. You called. Well done, Susan. You just built a mannequin axe. Cool, but uh, may I ask why we need why we need those uh, cat skull and the broomstick for? It's quite confusing me. All right, we got we got the weapon. Still not sure why we need those items for, but all right. Here, we're entering quite heaven. Quite a bit of odd. Has it worked? Don't think so. Ivy. Nah, she's no. just electrocuted. You useless piece of junk. You worthless fucking shit. The mannequins you're talking about? Oh, hey. I wouldn't worry about it, mate. That girl was the size of a jet plane. And now she's out because she didn't want to play the game. That's pretty fair if you ask me. I don't understand. Shut up, Harrison. Haven't you done enough already? It's your poison that made her sick. Your lies. Your idea of a perfect woman. But she was already perfect. Why can't you all fucking see that? A man never lies, Joe. You know what she saw looking in it? What? But she is nothing like that. What difference does it make now? You found a way to fix that, didn't you, Joe? Because you always knew what's best for her. She was starving herself to death. <laughs> well, you know what they say. No pain, no gain. I was just trying to save her. It's not your fault. Sorry, too. Please, don't go. Don't bother, young man. He's already gone. Oh, uh, Queen of Maggot. It's you. Back to his smoldering home where he belongs. This is the end. So, uh, let me summarize all the things. This wasn't the normal, normal holiday vacation at all. 
normal holiday trip or something. No, 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 no. This, everything happened in one building. We haven't lived any place yet but this Pacific room called Quiet Haven Hotel. You know, the cat lady just entered. So, uh, I'm not sure what she trying to do. I mean, what Joe trying to do here. But I'm pretty sure he wants to make his uh, perfect woman. Only for himself. So, all the people that he he met was a his own, uh, I don't know, consciousness or something, you know. Let's say it's a uh, key master, the hotel manager was literally his, her, I don't know, uh, perfect woman or something. And uh, other, other people, let's say uh, Harrison, Harrison was like being a dick, but somehow, somehow he wants some fat woman or something, was also part of the Joe. Everything happened in his own head. It's none of your business. Naive little fool. Everything here is my business. You are the sixth parasite. And the sixth changes everything. I have no idea what you are talking about, you crazy woman. Hello, Agnes. And she is also Sup, Joe? part of Miss me. Uh, part of his own side or something. But I, I'm not sure about that part. Suddenly, the Joe come come out with the axe and with the mask while she covering covering her eyes. Please tell me you're real. Joe, deep inside, you know I'm not. Yeah. But without me, you can never bring Ivy back. Because I finally got it. I know who I am. And I know why I'm here. I know who you are, but not sure who exactly you are. I'm not sure what kind of part of you. I mean, uh, literally... Who are you in my head? You are that part of Ivy that I fell in love with. And that dress is the dress she got married to me in. Now you recognize it. I'm... I'm a bloke. I don't think about dresses much. But I remember it now. Good. Then there's only one thing left to do. But... No, you can't. It's okay, Joe. Just switch it on. Uh, Let's bring her back to life. Sure. Still, you're not real, though. Joe, if this works... Is this some sort of, like, uh, sacrificing my own part? Be good to her. Sure, of course. I would never hurt you, and you know that. We can start again here. I never get tired of talking to you. I like holding you in my arms when you're sad. That's what I said the very I first can time we the rest of my life with you. Uh, argue each other. I've been making myself sick. can beat this shit together, Ives. Are you mad at me? I could never be mad at you. Oh, this is great. I love you. Oh, 
flies all flying all over the place. Sorry about that. Cat lady, I don't think this is the moment. Sorry, neighbor, but I happen to have a zero tolerance for sons of bitches. Poor girl. I was too late to save you. You're late. Mrs. A? I heard noises and are you okay? Are you hurt? No, everything is fine. I'm fresh as a daisy. And I managed just fine on my own, thank you. What kind of trouble did you get yourself into this time? Uh, the usual. Just another human parasite. You killed Joe Davis? Afraid so. Turns out we were living next door to a psychopath. Just look at what he did to his wife. Oh, holy shit. She's nothing but skin and bones. Has he been starving her? Well, pardon me. I forgot to ask him. What the hell? Uh, Don't touch her. You can fry her with these electric wires. So stay back, Nipsey. There's a switch over there. Let's shut it down. I don't recommend. Wait. I think. I think she's alive. Still don't touch anything. Well, never mind. Actually, oh, you had to. Out loud. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Go. Well, she's dead now. Uh, sorry about your wife. Sorry about your wife, though. So, uh, you're listening on the, uh, we have to run, Ivy, but it's okay. I, I know a place, a small countryside hotel, the kind you always liked. We can start again. We will start again. I am... I did try to cut, uh, cut out all the musics here, so hope you guys don't mind about my terrible editing. So, Ivy was dead all along. Everything was the Joe's imagination thing. Wow. I I really tried to save her but turns out it was like doing the psychopath stuff. Well, I know this is not the psychopath. I mean, the definition of the psychopath. But still, game once again fooled me. Fooled all the players who really into the love that the game wants to pull it out from the all the, all the scenes no even this is really good maybe maybe some of the people are like what the hell all this is all about for god's sake well I don't think I can answer that really clearly, but for my perspective, this is really well made. I mean, maybe maybe in some c 
kind of weird shit going on. But this game describes the someone someone's mind really well. So, uh, all all about the marriage, all the stuff. Not sure about the marriage part though, but the when uh, the childhood of the Joes and his his brother and with the young Ivy was real. But after that, about the mar uh, about the uh, meeting and the marriage though, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's the real part. But only one thing is, he is trying. He, he is trying to uh, bring her back from the dead. But the funny thing is, how can I say? Uh, I'm, it's, my my head is filled with very very confusing word. I'm not I I'm not sure how to describe. <laughs> I'm just have to arrange my words before I, before I say it out loud. So all the all the thing, all the thing. Agnes, uh, Queen of Megan. Not sure about the Queen of Megan because she appears in the previous previous game too. And uh, uh, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Doctor Z and uh, Harrison and other Sophies were were all the Joe's head, in Joe's mind. I really want to say about very smart theory of this of this mind thingy, but oh my god, I am so bad at bad at just explaining all all this uh, psychological knowledge in my head. I I I'm not sure about the words about this and things like that. I really want to explain to you something like some someone has a separated mind who who sh can share their thought in something, nor there's a, there's some other people who also have separate mind, but but they can cannot share each other's mind, just like uh, just like the separated people. But still, this is amazing. Oh, it's not over yet. Am I playing now? Uh Oh, there's multiple endings. But I'm not sure about the score part. Murder escape from the crime scene. Uh let, let me get close to it. Author uh, okay. Uh, by, by him. Author and Authorities are investigating in the cause of the fire that broke out the apartment building at the Helen Reed uh, last night. The firefighters have discovered several bodies inside. Our our sources confirmed that at least five of them had already been dead when the fire started. Suspect of the crime crime is Joe D, uh, one of one of the re residents of the building. A witness saw him carrying charred body towards his car the police are looking looking for him but as for now his uh, where's about there unknown so he escaped I'm not sure that he ki that he killed the uh, cat lady or something but wow the story keeps going on it's interesting so <clears throat> that is the downfall. Well, as the game mentioned by itself, there is a multiple endings. By you know, by killing the wrong order or just injecting the wrong medicine to the very first Sophie, or just murdering, uh, murdering Agnes instead of murdering the, I don't, I don't know, sexual her, I mean his own sexual harassment or something. Yeah, by doing that, you can you can change its own ending or something. I think this is my idea. This is my idea, and still not sure about the scoring system though. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my game planning and explaining what is going on in this game. So I'm gonna end this video right over here. Press like this video and you can subscribe my channel. Then I'll see you in the next game.
what what is called? Let me see. Uh, it's called a uh, uh lore. Lorelai, Lorelai, Lorely, whatever. So that game. So uh, still, it's not this series and it hasn't over yet for surprisingly. So, thank you for watching. Boop.